This is the Royal College of Surgeons headquarters buildings, which is located in Lincoln's Inn Field in London. Um, it's central London, so quite a busy external environment. And one of the considerations we needed to think about was how we controlled that noise from getting into the building. Now the building behind me is this fabulous grade two listed building designed by Sir Charles Barry, who also designed the House of Parliament. So it's a fantastic project. Come along inside and I'll tell you more about it. We're standing in the new part of the Royal College of Surgeons headquarters and this part was actually bombed in the war and it was rebuilt in the 1950s and 60s. Unfortunately, it wasn't really fit for the purpose of the modern College of Surgeons, so they decided to do a renovation project. One of the challenges we had um, architecturally was how we married the modern and the existing historic heritage premises to give the Royal College of Surgeons the facilities that they needed. The main atrium connects all the floors together and is a lovely light and airy space, but it's made up of a lot of hard finishes, which acoustically means the sound bounces around and it means it becomes very echoey. Now the challenge in this space is that it is actually forming part of the Hunterian Museum as well. So there will be exhibitions going through to see the busts and the paintings that are part of the museum. In order to make sure that that noise build up from all those people doesn't cause any particular issues to the occupants of the offices, we need to make sure that we design this space acoustically really well so that it's fit for purpose. So that was our first kind of consideration. How do we start to find out where these reflection paths are? And that's where we use tools like 3D modelling and we actually built a virtual version of this atrium well before it was actually built and that allowed us to simulate sound travelling within the space and we could work out where to treat finishes. So the finishes that we have here, on every floor level, the ceiling is actually treated with an acoustic ceiling product and on the walls we also have a timber hit and miss system which again acts to help absorb some of that sound. So in the library, the adjacent space was proposed to become a video conferencing space. So we had to think really carefully about how we could acoustically separate the two areas. We also knew that the architectural vision for the space was to still allow that interconnectivity. So visually, the spaces were still going to remain connected, um, but acoustically we wanted to obviously keep it as silent as possible. So the solution that we came up with was a high performance glazed door set, again complicated by the fact that these doors are actually really quite large, larger than a standard door, and also they're a double width so the two come and meet, and acoustically that's a bit of a weak point usually. Sound insulation between spaces is really important because this gives you the privacy. Um, in the case of the Royal College of Surgeons, we have examination rooms. One of the challenges we actually faced in these rooms, however, was because of the listed nature of the building, the routing for services was severely limited. If you have a hole in the partition, lots of sound is going to come through it and you're going to undermine its performance acoustically. So that's the exact issue that we had to design here. And our solution was a special bulkhead detail that is incredibly well sealed and crosstalk attenuation between the spaces so that noise can't travel directly via the duct routing. As you can see, I'm stood in the new function room uh, for the new development of this building. Um, it actually sits on top of the existing roof of the building and there's offices below us. So we've had to incorporate a sound reduction in the floor in order to make sure that people when, we have, uh, when they have conferences or functions up here that this isn't adversely affecting vibration or noises getting through to people below. But due to it being you know, an old building and it being the old roof, we've had to make sure it's not heavy. So we've had to incorporate light material to make sure that the roof doesn't collapse. For a building this size, it needs a lot of equipment to keep it running. So we've had to design a lot of acoustic features in and select low noise models in order to meet um, plant noise emission limits. And all of that goes into quite detailed calculations to make sure that we don't upset the neighbours. So we're submitting this for the Association of Noise Consultants Awards 2021 in the building acoustics categories because we've demonstrated a number of different challenges of marrying heritage with modern facilities and modern requirements in terms of how people use the buildings. 
and we feel that this building summarises everything that we've achieved here.